over Unisa regions on radio.unisa.ac.za. Unisa Radio, the African voice. It's all about you. Hope you guys are having a beautiful morning. Uh, it's it's crazy. I always say that my mornings are crazy good. So if you have just joined us, left with 20 minutes before the show ends. Now in studio, I'm joined by Callista uh, Hardwick. We know her as a marketing manager from Vitalabek Donation Agency, and we also joined by. So we're gonna. You know, we always twist. We we always have that bit of twist. So now we're also joined by the guys from MTV Sugar, and we're gonna be talking pregnancy. We're gonna be talking birth control and HIV because that's what the show mostly revolve around. In and we're also joined by Whitney. Uh, we know Whitney is from. Um, what do you call this? Mary Stopes. Whitney is from Mary Stopes. She is our usual. We once had her. We've had her. And we always talk to her about birth control, miscarriage, STIs, and all other sexual transmitted infections. Good morning, guys. Morning. morning. How are you doing? Great. Lovely. I love your hair. Calista. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll first start with Calista. Fantastic. Uh, yes. So we're talking IVF. Now, miscarriage yes. after IVF, you know, can happen. Yes. And in fact, it's as common as, you know, miscarriage in, in non-assisted pregnancies. Correct. And since older women often attempt IVF, miscarriages can sadly let them down. You know Correct. how it is. Yes. So, you know, with that discussion, what do we mean when we say miscarriage after IVF? Okay. I think what's important to first say is that the miscarriages are not happening because of the IVF. Okay. So we say one in six in the population is going to struggle to conceive okay. and they'll okay. need some form of assisted conception. Okay. So we're already looking at a smaller population. We're not looking at the entire population. Yeah. So the people we are treating are people who have either struggled to fall pregnant or to stay pregnant. Okay. So the risk of miscarriage for them is already high even if they weren't going the IVF route. Mm. So it's not IVF that causes the miscarriage. Mm -hmm. It's all of the anatomy or the genetics that's already at play Mm. that's causing the miscarriage. Mm. Unfortunately, it is quite high. So they have two to three times more chance of having a miscarriage than the population who doesn't struggle to conceive. Mm. Um, And in short, there's really two main reasons here. Mm. First would be genetics. So we're talking husband and wife's genetics together. For some reason, they keep producing aneuploid embryos which means Mm -hmm. abnormal embryos, Mm -hmm. and they then can't either fall pregnant or sustain the pregnancy. So we can sort that out by doing genetic screening, Mm -hmm. right, to find the embryos that are normal and that are euploid, and we put those embryos back to try avoid having a miscarriage. Mm -hmm. If there's an anatomy problem, so Mm -hmm. there's now something wrong. Let's say she has a septum in her uterus or fibroids or Mm -hmm. adenomyosis. There's all these different factors that could be in the uterus that then causes the miscarriages because of something that's there that shouldn't be there. Okay. That can then be sorted out through surgery. Mm. And we would need to find out what it is and then treat it and then attempt the pregnancy to try to reduce that rate of miscarriage. Mm. And is there a higher cause of miscarriage, uh, you know, after IVF? No, it, it would be the same as if they were falling pregnant naturally mm-hmm. because the IVF itself doesn't have a play in the miscarriage mm-hmm. because unfortunately their bodies were going to miscarry mm-hmm. irrespective. But mm-hmm. now because we're doing IVF, we have the opportunity to test the embryos mm-hmm. or to look at the uterus mm-hmm. and to see what's wrong and try combat mm-hmm. that miscarriage. Mm. Lovely. And still on the topic of pregnancy and miscarriage, uh, I'm going to... S- Hoy and the guys from Sugar MTV. Uh, I know that your, you, you know, your show. Uh, we we joined, as I said, by some some gay. Okay, because I mean, I was going to say your full name. No, it's just Samke. <laughs> Samke and uh, Ayanda. You, your, your television show is mostly about, you know, pregnancies, birth control, uh, you know, sex in general. Mm-hmm. How has you being in the show taught you about sexual health? Um, I mean, the show... Um has highlight has always been about HIV, mm-hmm. um, but now luckily they've opened up even more because I mean the spectrum is broad. It's not just HIV. There's teenage pregnancy, mm. there's contraceptives, mm. there's gender-based violence. You know, um, so what it has helped us it has actually opened our eyes and to be able to see what the youth are going through mm. and actually be able to tell the story from the youth's perspective. Mm. You know, it's it's easy to just read um, pamphlets mm. and get a lecture on all of the stats and everything about it but it's difficult to understand where that te- that specific teenager where are they coming from what's mm. their story mm. so it's helped us to actually lend an ear and actually okay. sit down and listen and find out what is going on yeah. mm. you know mm. same okay well we're still learning more there's, there's just so much happening in our country mm, and um 
when we arrived, we we knew the basics, and MTV Sugar just kind of gets really deep into it, mm. and um, it exposes a lot of truths. It exposes a lot of social. It exposes a lot of social issues, mm. things that um, are really highly stigmatized, and things need to be really spoken about. So that's what it's really about. And mm. um, as I said, we're still learning. I mean, up till now, we're mm. learning new things, and Whitney here is amazing, yeah. teaching us about all these yeah. all those things. Especially, I'm um, pretending to my character. I had to mm. learn really fast because she goes through so much. Mm-hmm. Um, just all social issues just hit her all at once, mm. and um, it's just really amazing. To know that, well, it's it's really flabbergasting to know that there are young kids who actually go through this, and um, with that, it's I feel it's going to be really helpful to to other people, to other young young um, young people and older, to know that things like these really happen, and mm. we have to um, acknowledge them and do something about it. Mm. So yeah, lovely. And Whitney, what is you know Mary Stopes' part in Sugar MTV? Okay, so Mari Stipes is a partner of um, the Staying Alive Foundation and the show. And the reason that we decided to partner up with them is that it's such a comprehensive sex ed tool. Mm -hmm. You know, people like to isolate things and talk Mm -hmm. about sex as one thing, talk about HIV as another and contraception, but it's all integrated. Mm. It's all one thing. Mm. So I think what's really great about MTV Sugar is that it puts it all together and it puts it all into perspective. Uh, like the right perspective Mm. and it's comprehensive and it's something that you know um, the young people in South Africa need to information on absolutely yeah that so is, it's it's so a true. brilliant show mm, that is so true and when uh, Samke talks about uh, you know learning I mean when we met Callista I didn't know still today she just surprises me with the information that she mm. gives me and it's amazing how everything just correlates you know what Correct. I mean and Samke I'm sorry Ayanda spoke of you know stigma and yes do we still have, you know, women who feel like, you know, when they've experienced maybe miscarriage after IVF with that stigma that holds? Because culture can really, you know. It does, yeah, it does. It, it and obviously crazy. I see this. I see this in the fertility sector. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it is assisted conception. Mm. So there's a lot of stigmas that are attached to a whole host of things mm. that either the patient goes through or we as the clinic goes through. Mm. Um I think a big one is what you're saying is education. Yes. Letting women know that there is alternatives, that there is help. There are mm. people who are specialized in this mm. to assist you. Mm. And that is not always your fault. You know, you and I have spoken mm. yes. about our 40% of our cases are male infertility. Mm. So this is not something. And unfortunately, culture, African culture dictates that it's the woman's fault. Mm. So if we're not having a baby, it's a woman. Mm. Let me find a different partner. Let me find a different wife. And this is not true. Mm. And um, so, yes, it's, it's definitely a stigma that we are fighting. Same with HIV. We assist patients who are HIV positive Mm. to have children that are not HIV positive. And there's always that question that comes up Mm. when we're dealing with these kinds of cases. Mm. And Samke, you know, we we find uh, still on the topic of miscarriage, we find young people that, uh, you know, involve themselves in, you know, sexual activities. And because they're still developing, they're very young, uh, you know, they find themselves, you know, in that stage and then they miss, they they experience miscarriage. And I don't know about your part, but I know I see that you are love struck by a blessed teacher and uh, you're 15 years old. I mean, you're young. So when you find yourself... Are you, are you the teacher? No, no, no. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was like, just I can see that. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You know, uh, um, Ken Sunny being 15 years old yeah. and having a bless as a teacher, I mean, the teacher's very mature. You're still in your, yeah. you know, in, in your teenage yeah. days and you're still developing. And how 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 is 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 your role playing out in you being this young and having a very big man being your blesser of which is something that we are currently experiencing in the country um well let me just basically go on about Kinsani. So yeah, she's 15 and she, she's so love struck so into this really older man and um the things that she's she's uh, she falls so deep for him and things happen that she does not realize that relationships are not perfect Mm -hmm. and um in her head she thinks that things are 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 going to be okay and when life hits her she she does not know she's she has the her lack of information is 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 crazy she does not know what to do where to go and she her um uh gosh 
what she wants to do is never the right way. She just wants like a, a easy, okay. fast way to fix okay. things as okay. opposed to uh, finding a solution, mm -hmm. finding a way out of a situation. Mm -hmm. And um, I, she knows education just plays a huge role mm -hmm. in um, in her story. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it just shows what yeah, um, it just shows that there are so many people who, and so, uh, so many kids in her situation who don't know what to do, mm -hmm. um, don't know where to go, and um, to find help. So that's basically her situation. That's basically her story. Mm -hmm. She just like detail rates from mm. day one well day two episode two tomorrow if you watch. <laughs> okay <laughs> from tomorrow onwards um things are just gonna go really crazy really mm. bad for her hopefully um, but that's you know that's why we have um uh, the stay life foundation mm. um which um helps to educate young kids mm. um on what to do where to go where to find help mm. and um, things like that mm. yeah. okay yeah. and i think you know People in society likes to shelter young people from the topic of sex. Very much. Um, because they, you know, they think if you hide it from them, they're not mm. going to be doing it. You know, we need to keep them away from it. Mm. But the fact is, it's happening. Mm. Whether they're 15 or they're 12 or they're 18, mm. it's happening. And mm. information is vital in, in order for these young people to be able to protect themselves and to mm. practice safe sex. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know, because uh, uh, Whitney is from Mary Stopes, and I know that you guys are very big on backdoor abortions, and we find mm. very many young uh, people that, you know, have sex, they get pregnant, and then they don't want the baby, but then they don't want to go to, you know, professional clinics to go and, you know, terminate. So they end up going to backdoors. And I believe that's a high rate of, mis it causes a high rate of miscarriage correct, as well. Correct, correct. Mm -hmm. So they could end up with scar tissue in their uterus. There could be a lot of things that end up affecting them if it's not done, not done properly. Mm. And then what they're going to find is when they are ready to have children one day, they're going to have problems, and mm. they're now going to need some kind of fertility treatment. So we are very big supporter of Mari Stipes as well, and mm. doing it the safe way. Yeah. Um, so that you know that you are not impacting your future mm. ability to fall pregnant mm. and your own fertility. Mm. Yeah, and you know, abortion is one of the safest and simplest procedures that any woman can go through. You know, if it's done safely, uh, chances of anything happening are very slim. But yeah. if it is done unsafely, then you know they use unscrupulous methods. You know, we hear things of mm. things being shoved up someone's mm. vagina, or you know, just random things happening and that stuff can be harmful mm. so we just like to promote people to go to the right places you know mm. and it's not just Mari Stopes we have um, public facilities that offer the service for free so mm. it's just trying to equip women with that information of where to go to get the safe procedure mm. and coming back to Saul I'm not talking to Ayanda now I'm talking to Saul I'm kidding <laughs> tell us about your character um, Saul is Saul is a very rich uh, spoiled kid Okay. Um, his father owns a local taxi company. Mm -hmm. So he's pretty much a blesser within the community, within okay. the young girls. Okay. And let's just say, I don't want to give a lot away, but okay. at the end, he doesn't end up being a blessing to mm. the people in the community, to the girl he falls in love with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, also, I think just one thing to, to, to highlight um, after going through this experience, when it comes to things like abortions mm. and miscarriages, mm. I think mm. I, as a guy, you know, um, I've learned that our role is actually vital in um, in what happens with regards mm. to child abortion, you know, mm. things like that. Because we tend to be like, oh, get rid of the kid. Yeah. Get, yeah. Go, go do something. Mm. Yeah, go through it physically. You know, yes. so... Um, and things like HIV and the, the importance of using condoms mm. and the importance of just knowing, having the knowledge and mm. the education behind this whole thing. I think it's also uh, benefited me as a, as a male. Mm. Um, also knowing the, the risks that come with, with backdoor abortions and that it's rather do it safe, play it safe. And so I just think this whole thing is not only focused on, on mm. you know, girls and affects girls but it also is very vital for mm. the male out there to know. Mm. Absolutely. Everything that we go through as women or everything that you go through as men, we need to be part of it because it's not only a female or a male uh, planet. Yeah. You know, we're all in this together. Now, just quickly uh, 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 coming back to Callista, what are, the, what are some of the contributing factors you know that can cause miscarriage after IVF? Um. A big one would be anatomy. So it would be some kind of problem that's in the uterus. So mm -hmm. this could be from scar tissue. Uh, this could be from adenomyosis, which is in latums known as endometriosis and mm -hmm. a, quite a lot of 
young women suffer from that disease, uh, fibroids, mm-hmm. um, if there is something wrong with either the shape or the structure of the uterus itself, mm. all of this could lead to, to miscarriages. And then genetics, genetics plays a big role. Mm. That um, The embryo that is now trying to form a pregnancy mm. is genetically viable and normal because the body and what we go through is an absolute miracle. Mm. If the embryo is not genetically normal, your body automatically doesn't want to carry that as a pregnancy, carry mm. it through um, because of all the problems that you'll have down the line. Mm. So it's, it's very important from, from our perspective when we're dealing with fertility patients to screen them on both the genetic side of things mm. and then the physical, the actual anatomy side mm. to ensure that we're giving them their best potential mm. to not have another miscarriage. Yeah. And we that's one of our main sort of pools of patients. It's mm. patients who have had reoccurring pregnancy loss. Mm. So either multiple miscarriages or ectopic pregnancies mm. or not being able to carry to full term, they then come to us to try to find the solution mm. and to treat it so that it won't happen again. Mm. And Whitney, how big, we know that Marie Stops is about, you know, pregnancy birth control and sex education, but then how big is it on sugar? I'm, I think it's a. I think it's a big part of it. Anything mm. that's Sex related needs uh, information on safe sex, contraception. Mm. Um, well, women, you know, you need to be a health. You need to have like a sex- healthy sexual health. Mm. So, I mean, it's pretty big. Like I was saying, everything is integrated. Mm. We cannot isolate one thing from another. Mm. And I think the moment we start to accept that and to come up with a comprehensive sexual education for young people, mm. then I think we are on the right path towards, you know, mm. just a healthy sexual and reproductive mm. health in South Africa. Mm. And Mary Stobbs being part of Sugar, mm. what has, you know, just you individually taught you? Oh, a lot, actually. I mean, there is a lot of things that uh, Sugar uh, 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 tackles that Mari Stopes doesn't tackle, you know. Mm. Um, so it also has been a big learning curve for us. I mean, we have the people like the Department of Basic Education who are also on board. Um, we have PEPA on board. Mm-hmm. So things like HIV, which we are not so big on, mm. or, you know, even just, you know, where the priority areas in, in schools are, what mm. kids need to be learning. So it's been a... Uh, a big learning uh, mm. experience mm. Um, and then they've got such great partners you know showing that everything is integrated yeah. so yeah. Uh, it's a really really great show mm. yeah. and uh, Callista what advice would you give to women who are facing you know miscarriage after IVF sure Basically, they just need to do investigations. If they already are undergoing IVF, so Mm. they're already with some form of facility that offers assisted reproduction, Mm -hmm. they just need to insist that their Mm. specialist looks into their case, finds out why. Mm. Why are they miscarriaging? Is there some form of anatomy at play? Is there some form of genetics at play? Mm. Because there is a solution. Mm. You know, if the combination of their genetics is not working, as you know, we have donor eggs and we have donor Mm -hmm. sperm. Mm -hmm. It's changed the genetics because Mm -hmm. it depends on what your outcome is. If you are there to have a baby, we will help you have a baby Mm. and we will find that solution. Mm. So it really just depends on the couple themselves or if it's a couple who's not yet at a reproductive medicine Mm -hmm. um, unit and they're having miscarriages they mustn't just accept this as normal and accept that this means they are not going to be able to have a baby. Mm. They need to look further into it and both of them male and female Mm. needs to go to the fertility specialist and have an assessment and allow someone to look into why. Why is the miscarriages happening? Mm -hmm. You know as I always say that there is nothing impossible for Vitalab, right? <laughs> nothing. And guys, where and when and at what time can we get Sugar MTV? Um, MTV Sugar is available on MTV Base okay. um, every Channel Wednesday, three. Channel 322, yeah. okay. every Wednesday at half past nine. Okay. And starting from this week, what they'll do is they'll repeat the previous week's episode. So at from nine o'clock, <laughs> it's the oh. previous week's the So repeat. it's like a back-to-back type of thing. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Okay. Also available on a CBC One from Friday. Okay. Um, starting this Friday at 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. Okay. And after SABC One, it will be uploaded on YouTube. Mm, so lovely. You, you have no choice but to get yeah, to <laughs> Look, I mean, it's a, it's a free-to-air thing, yes. so right. the education is out yes. there, it's available. Yes. Um, also on social media, very interactive, mm. hashtag MTV Sugar mm-hmm. DS. Facebook, Twitter, Twitter Instagram, mm. everywhere, www.mtvsugar.com. <laughs> so you guys are just in all spaces. There's a like, single that's out. Yeah. Um, Who's the title? Si- oh, yes, I title saw that. Track with, yes. Um, a Nigerian superstar, Shay Shay, mm-hmm. um, award-winning Nasty C, and mm. MT. No? Love. No, my, no, my E. My E. My E from Tear Gas.
Okay. Thank you so much, guys. We'll definitely share all the details. And when you come, I hope that you come back and we'll okay. share. Yes, we'll definitely share on the knowledge of, you know, Sugar MTV. We have to because so much happens. Yes. You have no choice yes. but to come back. I'll always try to script it out, like all the yes. questions that I want to <laughs> ask you guys when I watch Sugar, so that when you come, I'll be like, so tell us, Sol, why are you doing this? <laughs> it's got great talent. Yes. I would encourage everybody to watch it. For me, just watching it unfold and seeing these no, guys, these guys episode. are brilliant. Mm. They are brilliant, brilliant. So <laughs> catch you. the show. Oh, catch the show. Yes, MTV, three, channel 322 every Wednesday at 9.30. But you can also watch the repeat at 9. So And also on SABC1, Fridays at 10. And catch it again where? YouTube. Yes. And MTV also Sugar. The MTV Sugar website. And also the MTV Sugar website. So, guys, they're in all mediums. So, you have no reason not to watch Sugar. Get educated. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank, Thank you very you much, Callista, Whitney. Such a pleasure. Yes, Ayanda and Sam Gay. Why don't, you, why don't you want me calling you by your full name? Because it's long. It's, no. Okay. Sam K is nice, though. Yeah. Like some K. <laughs> <laughs> like some K. All right, guys, thank you very much. Uh, from me, Mama Get the Masago with Jojo, we're signing out. And what are you choosing? I choose to be happy. Oh, I don't hear you. I choose to watch uh, MTV Oxy. Sugar, right? Yeah, I, I, I choose to watch uh, MTV Sugar. Yeah, and I choose, I choose, uh, okay, I choose to watch MTV Sugar. I also choose, uh, you know, Vitalab for just giving yes, us all the information yes, regarding yes, fertility. And we also choose Mary Stopes of <laughs> the major contribution that they're doing to also to the communities. And also, I choose education. Beautiful. Education. Yes, let's choose education. So from us, it is a see you later. I'm going to be handing it over to Campus Wise. Make sure that you do stay connected it's radio.unisa.ac.za slash live facebook unisa radio twitter at unisa radio and remember our line is 012-484-1153 so i'm handing it over to namzi and garabo she's here with the news unisa news and updates UNISA joins sustainability organization this year as it launches its very own sustainability framework. The Institute for Social and Health Sciences at UNISA. UNISA will continue its collaboration. With your headlines, UNISA's second semester registration is now open. And finally, the Tirisano Center at UNISA recently held a one-day workshop. UNISA News and Update. Every day at 1 p.m. 1 p.m.